All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. We have a review for you. This is the EMP EDC Nimble X version 2. Comes by way of the Lefty Pass Around Group. John from EMP EDC sent this to Lefty. Lefty sent it to me, and it's going to go around the big Pass Around Group. But first, say hello to Ren and Stimpy Powder, Toastman, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started. If you're not subscribed, this is the Knives Fast channel. Please consider doing so check it out like subscribe comment share whatever all that good stuff stick around have some fun join us for a live stream on monday nights 7 45 p.m eastern right here on youtube all right so this is kind of a re-review you guys know i had a nimble x got one at blade show last year had it with frag version it was gorgeous and ridiculous and i miss it now sold it um because i'm crazy and i needed to get more knives in here and uh, so I thought I would do kind of a re-review of this one, if you will. Probably going to be fairly short. Designed by John Rusk at EMP EMP EDC. Uh, made by QSP in China. And this is a fantastic knife. Now, you got this great milling by QSP. You have this really nice uh, chamfer going on here. Sorry, I got to move my screen so I can see. There we go. Nice chamfer, titanium scales. You got this great blue pivot collar and blue uh, pivot with his logo, blue screws, um, blue pivot collar over here, blue uh, clip. And you guys know the story with the clip with this one. It's tilted just a little bit, sits right about there in the pocket, and it is not reversible. You do have a lanyard hole there in the back. Good clip. I like that clip. It was no problem for me. And a nice, fairly slender knife, but it does stick up a little bit, but it carried really well for me. Um, a go again, gorgeous knife. You have a hole and a fuller for, um, for uh, wow, um, for deployment. Thank you. That's the word. You have a low profile flipper and a front flipper here. Uh, so many ways to deploy this knife. Uh, really, really beautiful knife. Now let's get to the blade. You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous sheep's foot blade. Uh, I dig this one ever so much. Um, it is just a fantastic blade. And you guys know you saw me uh, in my other video. It's a great cutter. I'm not going to do a ton. Smooth and slicey. Beautiful, beautiful. Very thin. You got jimping way up there. Um, the big differences on this one is it feels like the action is even better. The detent is so well tuned um, for all the deployment methods, which I think is great. I'm not a big front flipper guy, but I can even do it. Uh, you have very good access to the lock bar this time around. Uh, I think it's a little bit better. I don't have my other one to compare it to, but it feels a little bit better uh, to me. Uh, feels good in the hand. Really, really nice, good choke up point like you had before. Great um, choil here, plunge grind um, yeah, that you'll be able to sharpen with no problem. And that's me. It's dropping right on my thumb right there. There you go. Get it past. Shakes down. You can see, I mean, just smooth, very smooth. You can get out of here in the fuller and flick easily. You can thumb flick it. Um, well, maybe you can. Wow. Okay, I'm on the lock bar. That's an interesting thing you should know about. Let's get off. Okay, so um, it seems like maybe that's a little... I don't remember having a lot of trouble with that, but I always middle finger flicked it, so maybe that's why I don't remember it. I'll have to ask Andrew who has it now. Yeah, as long as you stay off that lock bar, it's not a problem. Yeah, stay off the lock bar. Um, I'm just having to stay kind of back like this. And it's fine. Back on the clip, basically. Uh, but everything else, you know, no, no problems whatsoever, except I suck at front flippers. Uh, I just do. Great knife, guys. This thing is fantastic. And just, uh, we'll go through the specs. Now, these are not currently available, but I wanted you to see just how well John did with this. It is unbelievably. M390 steel, 61 to 62. Uh, 3.5 millimeter blade stock, so a little thicker, but it comes down, as you can see, to a very slicey edge. Um, 3.5 inch blade, which is great. I mean, this is a great size for me. Uh, it just is 8.1 overall, 4.6 inch handle. So you have a great four finger grip here. And again, I just love 
the multiple deployment methods. I love this grip right here with the choil and that great uh, kind of swoop here with a just a little bit. It's mostly flat um, with uh, great jimping for your thumb. Just a good, 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 good knife. If you can get one on the secondary or if you can get one at Blade Show or if he re-releases them, uh, you should definitely check it out. Now, uh, as far as size, it compares very well uh, to the um, Rat 1. The Rat 1's a little bit bigger right there. And the Rat 2 is way smaller. So there you go. Um, again, steel lock, bear, steel lock bar insert, ceramic detent ball, ceramic bearings, 4.4 ounces. Um, there were several versions of this available. Uh, there was a tux, a reverse tux, this beautiful version. Um, just John continues, guys. EMP EDC needs to be paid attention to. John is pumping out some fantastic knives. We're going to also have a review of the Ronin um, coming up very soon. Just great knives. You have to just be blown away by what he's doing over there. And uh, QSP just absolutely killed it. So very, very nicely done. What do you guys think of this one? I'm trying to think if there's some... Oh, you know what? Let's just do one more comparison here. Uh, so you guys, now we got to get it flat again. So you guys know I love this next knife. Uh, but this will give you a good size comparison. This is my um, Brass Brigade Grant Gripper. So the Gripper's got a little more in the handle and a little more in the blade. Uh, really, really cool. Now, of course, you've got this aggressive Warncliffe here and more of a nice little belly here on this one. Uh, you got a hollow grind here. Now, wait a minute. I didn't look at that. Is that... Um, hold on. i got to make sure... I want to say this is, yep, yeah, it's a hollow as well, uh, but it's a higher hollow, as you can see, and a, a shallower hollow, but it's definitely, I mean, you could see the way it cut, and that's the other difference. I believe the, the version one was a flat grind. This is definitely, you can, there you go. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see it, but it's definitely, there you go, definitely a hollow, hollow grind, very nicely done, uh, thicker stock, but tall, and just comes down to a gorgeous edge, uh, very, very slicey. So, excellent. Thank you, Kevin, uh, Lefty EDC, for sending this one past me. Uh, it's going to move on to whoever's next. I can't remember right off the top of my head, but we'll get it moving on um, and uh, get that Ronin review out for you guys as well. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. Pay attention to EMP EDC because he's got lots of cool stuff coming. And thank you guys for watching The Knives fast channel.